Miss your time for the word of God. All right, all praises. So, if you don't mind me asking, brother, what's your ethnicity on your father's side? Your nationality, your race? Gambia? Gambia, is that Central Africa? West, West Africa, all praises to the most high. So, only, only servant of God, not nothing else. Oh, you say you're a Muslim? Muslim. Oh, I got you, got you, I got you. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right, through the slave trade, right? Through the slave trade, but I won't do it. Right. So watch this, brother. You see, you see this right here? Yeah. It, did this happen to us? That happened to our people, the so-called black, Hispanic, Native Americans? That's right. Okay. I'm a woke. I'm a woke to it. All right. But why did that happen to us? Would you say we are we we are strong people, a dominant people? Absolutely. So how did how did such a strong and dominant people get taken captive in the millions? Oh, 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 oh. Lack, lack, lack of um, resources. You know what I mean? Resources meaning our technology was as bad as just can't fight a war when your opponent have stronger artillery than you. Right. Agreed. So, Agreed. so the, their military stance was fire, propeller, whatever you can call it, what they had. Gunpowder. Gunpowder. We had six and strong. Right. You know so the advancement, the, the, the advancement overtook our people. It wasn't really that. And in the intellect that they knew more than about our, our land than we knew about our land. Right, so they was already subject by to our minerals that we have, and that's what the gold. Even to this day, the minerals that we have is still is preserved, right? Because we preserve these things. We are preserved people, right? We the people that preserve the earth, right? We the ones that clean the earth. You know what I'm saying? And land was made for this. Not just any any one of us, right? We all are preserved. Meaning we made from clay, not fire. So we made to build. The human, the man, right? And, and, um, angels only made from life, so they they made, they only made to obey, right? So we can, they only obey God's law, but we can we can kill and create God's law from the ground up. Right? Okay, I'll praise the Most High. So you said some good stuff. Can I share a few scriptures with you, brother? All right, all right. I'll praise the Most High. So start at Genesis chapter twenty-seven and start at verse thirty-eight. And then uh, give me Ezekiel 36 and verse 19. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 27 and verse 38. Uh huh. And Esau, and who? Esau, Esau right? said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my right. father? Right, so this is Esau, the, the, the son of Jacob. Jacob had two sons. And he says, he says, You only have but one blessing, my father? Keep reading. Bless me. Do what now? Bless, bless me. me. So he asked his father, Isaac, to bless him, right? Go ahead. Even me also. Right? Oh, my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And wept. So he started crying to Isaac, right? Go ahead. Verse 39. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. Now. God was giving us a prophecy here through Isaac telling his son Esau that Esau's blessing would be the fatness of the earth. Meaning, this race of people, Esau and his descendancy, would rule this world, essentially. They would have the fatness or the wealth of this earth. Go ahead. And of the dew of heaven right. from above. Now watch this. Verse 40. And by the sword. By the what? By the sword uh -huh. shalt thou live. Now, I got to ask you, my brother. What's your name, by the way, King? Stop it. Nice to meet you, brother Uriel. Good to meet you, brother. So, what people on this earth would you say have this earth and they control, and what people live by the sword? Well, just, okay, okay. I can't, I can't answer that. I'm a, I got Okay, okay. I respect that. But, but we know. He said, we know the answer to that. Don't be afraid to say it, though, brother. I'm not afraid. Okay. You know, but the angels on both sides. You know, I walk, I walk with the deeds, no matter if I have the book in my head. You know, and the book is in my heart. Right? So, you know, mind, all I remind is in our heart. You know, and, um, I'm just using these words because these words can't be translated to me. Right? Like, like I 
would do this, I would turn this in. People can use it for different sources. And they use it for people. Right, so, I agree. So it's not that I don't want to pronounce it. But we know Caucasian. We know God, there you go, brother. There you go. There you go. Let's just say <laughs> what it is. Me, don't do me like See, hey, not, I'm not, hey. Don't do we, me like The truth shall set you free. That's right. The truth shall make us free. So, right. yeah, so, free. Um, so we got to make sure we project um, the truth. But they've been living, they've been living by, by not just the sword, but they've been living by the edge of the fire. You know, and, and the fire comes in different forms, right? And when I mean the fire, the fire of gunpowder, the fire of gun, the fire of everything that's connected to that. Part of fire that means metal. Let lies, let me so on. But we all, but but we all not a part of that when we accept the belief of God, right? No matter what's your your tone, you can be you can be healed from any type of different. The clay we made from is all all mineral. You understand that? Meaning it's from the earth that have everything in it, every melon in it. Right, so once you accept this, this truth, right, it's no color to it. You understand? I don't care. You could be the darkest uh, from from Uganda. You know? You understand me? You could be the darkest. You could be the lightest from Egypt. You know? Yeah, it's, you it's not. It's not about color. It's right? never it's about, not about color. It's not about. But it is. It is. It is about. It is about a people, though. People. Not about yes. color. You're right about that, brother. And, and brothers got to get off the color aspect of. Uh, we this and you see us. We have a variety no up color. here, right? Different well, colors, brother. Our elder is darker than you, brother. He ain't here today, but he's darker than you. You know what I mean? And uh, so God wants us to understand to not judge off the appearance, but we have to make sure that we're dealing with his people, though, because not everyone is God's people. A lot of people are contrary to the word of God, are contrary to him himself. And so we have to make sure to bring forth his waters to his people to give them life. A lot of people are going to reject this. So let me share this with you. Hebrew Enoch, and then give me Job 9 and 24. Then we'll get uh, Ezekiel 36, 19. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 27, verse 39. Continue. And Isaac, his father, answered him and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. Right. Verse 40. And by thy sword shalt thou live right. and shalt serve Thy brother. So one day, this same people, Esau's descendancy, one day there's going to be a turn of events. God has already prophesied in the scriptures that Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. So this all corresponds to what's going on right now, but what's still to come in the end. So watch this. Give me Job 9 and 24, Ezekiel 36, 19, and then we're going to get Deuteronomy 32 and 26. Go ahead. This is the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. Look it out. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Of the what? Of, of the, the wicked. wicked. Right? He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. What did he do? He covereth the, the faces, faces of the of judges, judges thereof. So this same man, the same people, put their face over the anointed Savior, the judge, which is Hamashiach Yahawashai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Because the Bible describes Christ as a so-called black man, a very dark black man, by the way. He's not this man. This man is a man by the name of Cesare Borgier, Pope Alexander VI's son. They propagated this image during the Renaissance, during the 1400s, when they came into power under the Roman Catholic Church. The Bible says that the southern kingdom of Israel are the black, well, I'm going to say it like this. The 12 tribes of Israel are the black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, but the southern kingdom of Israel, which is where you get your so-called West Africans, the Haitians, the Jamaicans, the American blacks, this is our people. And the Hispanic and Native Americans are the northern kingdom of Israel, which we'll get into shortly. But give me uh, Ezekiel 36 and 19, Deuteronomy 32 and verse 26. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 36 and verse 19. Watch this, brother. And I scattered them among the heathens. So who do this? The Most High God. He says, I scattered my people, them, the Israelites, among the heathen, amongst the nations, right? And they were dispersed through the country. Right? According to their way. According to what? According to their way. How did the most dominant, strongest people on earth get taken captive? According to our ways, right? And according to their doing, right? I judged them. I what? I judge them. The Lord judged us as a people. They couldn't have done this without assistance from the Lord. The Most High God did this to us for turning our back on Him. That's right. Bring me Deuteronomy 32 and 26. Give me the book of 2 Ezra chapter 2, verse 7. 
This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32 and verse 26. Bring it out. I said, I will scatter them into corners. Into what? Into corners. corners right? I will make the remembrance of them to seize from among men. So now our people think we're black. We think we're African American. We think that we're Gambian. We think we're Mexican, Native American. All these titles that man has created when God says we are the Israelites, brother. Give me second Ezra 2 and 7. Then give me the curses. Second Ezra chapter 2 verse 7. I appreciate you giving us some time, brother. God. All praise you. I think you're the only brother. No, no, no. I take that back. One other person stopped there. This sister did. God. This is the book of Second Ezra chapter 2 and verse 7. God. Let them be scattered abroad. Once again, the Lord is, this is another account of what was going to happen to us. We were scattered abroad. Go ahead. Among the heathen. Among the what? Among, Among the heathen. Right. Let their names be put out of the earth. Right. For they have despised my covenant. The covenant that we came into, which is the law, statutes, and commandments of God, we turned our back on that. And as a result, we were taken captive through multiple slavery throughout the history of time, God told us uh, that would happen. Now, you said we sold ourselves into slavery. So watch this, brother. Give me Isaiah 50. Before you get that, give me Isaiah 51 and 1. It's not 51 and 1, it's 50 and 1. Because there's a common misconception that our own people sold our own people. Are you, are you, you got kids? You have a daughter. Okay. You have, you have a family, big family. Okay. Would it be common for y'all to just wrap each other up put y'all in chains and send y'all to another people was that does that even make sense millions 300 million like you said brother that we just chaining each other up and putting ourselves on the west coast of africa waiting for the so-called white men to come pick us up and ship we got our suitcases packed with chains on us <laughs> does that sound even logical that we would do that to each other in the millions you see what I'm saying? So how did we sell ourselves? Let's get it. Let's get it. Isaiah 51 and 1. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 50 and verse 1. God. Thus saith the Lord, where is the bill of your mother's divorcement? Watch, watch this. Whom I have put away, right? Or which of my creditors is to whom I have sold you? What? Behold, for your iniquity have you sold yourselves? Yeah, what? You sold yourself. Because of our sin, we have sold ourselves. Now, God isn't saying that we took ourselves, put chains on ourselves, and then sold ourselves to another people. He's saying that because of our sin, our disobedience, we made a covenant with death in hell. And as a result, we went into captivity. When we signed the dotted line, when we said all that the Lord has said, we will do and be obedient. We were supposed to do that, brother. That was the agreement. But when we broke that agreement, God said, now as a result, you brought this pain upon yourself. I'll show you who actually sold us, though. Give me Joel 3. Joel 3 from the top. Because the Bible records everything. What people did do, they took this word and they manipulated it and twisted the narrative to fit their advantage. That's why we got to get in this book and read it for what it actually says. Not believe these uh, these televangelists and all these liars on TV. Come on, brother. That's it. Destroy from lack of knowledge. Yep. It's the book of Joel, chapter 3, in verse 1. For behold, in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. Which means the, the, the Israelites, this is what God is talking about. Go ahead. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. This hasn't happened yet. This is still to come. When the Lord turns around our captivity, because whether, whether most people want to believe it or not, brother, we are still in captivity to this day. We're speaking our slave master's language. We got to pay bills consistently under their doctrine, oppression, their financial system. We can't even leave this place without a passport, even though we were brought over here unrighteously. We are still in the land of our captivity to this day. Go ahead. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the Valley of Jehoshaphat. Which is the Valley of Decision, right? And will plead with them there for my people. Right? For his people. Very possessive. Not talking about all people. His people, right? 
and for my heritage, right? Israel, who? Israel, who? Israel, Israel, right? Whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. They took our land. They took this Bible. They took our God, and now and they also took our identity. The people that's over there in the land of Israel, which was originally part of the land of Africa before they split it with the Suez Canal. Crafty Council is how they did it. And then they moved in all those white people and they put on black hats and twisted curly hair and said that they're the Israelites now. God said that this was going to happen. Go ahead. And they have cast lots for my people. Meaning they put us on auction slave blocks. 59, 29, 35, 45. Right? Go ahead. Yeah. I'm going to read it again, King. And they have cast lots for my people, right? And have given a boy for an harlot. They had us in slave breeding farms, breeding us like cattle, sex slaves. That's, that's what they were doing to us. They would take the strong brothers like yourself. I can tell you lift weights and exercise. Brother, if this was 1820, you would be a sex slave because of how you look. I'm not even joking. Is that, is that statue? They would say, this is a strong brother. We got to make more of him. He can pick cotton all day. This was before they figured out the car. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Yeah, look. Yeah. Look, I'm look, I'm not even making this it up. Look, brother. Look, this is a book called Before the Mayflower. Yeah. See, look. Bring out some of them books, King, so, so we can show the brother that we, we cor correspond the Bible with history. Let me find it real quick. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you something. Look at that, that's in the spirit. I even look. One day I knew this was gonna have to come out. Look, I wrote I wrote it down. Breeding slaves. <laughs> See that, just oh, to make sure. I knew we were going to talk about this someday. Look, so this is uh, from Before the Mayflower, The History of the Negro in America uh, by, by Lerone Bennett Jr. And I'm going to read uh, page 83, and I'm going to start at, um, let's see. I hope they know how to Oh, no, no, no. Ain't nothing going to happen outside the U.S. will for us. You know what I'm saying? So, I'll praise them both. So, I'm going to start at the bottom paragraph. It says, in the states, Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina, Kentucky, Tennessee, Missouri, etc., as much attention is paid to the breeding and growth of Negroes, breeding and growth of Negroes, as to that of horses and mules. They were breeding us like animals, brother. Further... Further south, we raised them both for use and for market. They were using us as commerce. Planters commanded their girls and women. It says uh, to have children. It says to have, to have children, and I have known a great many Negro girls girls to be sold off because they did not have children. A second paragraph says, another planter at Virginia, Virginian told Os Olmstead that his slave women were uncommonly good breeders. He did not suppose there was a lot of women anywhere that bred faster than his. He never heard of babies coming so fast as they did on his plantation. It was perfectly surprising, and every one of them in his estimation was worth $200 as Negroes were selling now the moment it, it drew breath. Now I'm going to jump down to, um, let me see. There's one where it says that the men were, see, hold on. Bear with me. Put a few pages on it. Wow. man. You got, a, you got a Bible for your bag, King? There's one where it talks about the men and how they were breeding the men. You know what they do with these gals today, too? Cops are actually carrying a little book that teaches them how to make a slip, how to keep people or breed people or get their mindset. They think that they're their animals. Right now, today, cops are walking down the street. So he would talk about how, how we were subject unto the wife. Um, uh, right, we continue to slaves were sold. And, uh, I'm just going to be a little bit more. It says, says, in short, as their lives are for the most of those 
of mere animals. So they they treated us as animals, brother. It says their increase is literally mere animal breeding to which every encouragement is given for it adds to the master's livestock and the value of his estate. Now there's so much more in this, but the point of the matter is, brother, is that they did breed us like slaves, not just the black men and women, but the Hispanics and Native Americans too. They were doing it to all of us. Um, when I say they, it's not just the white men, these other nations had their hand in it too. So go back to Joel 3 where you left off, King. Go ahead, God. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 32. And this is the curse that pertains to what we're talking about, King. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Who did that happen to? Whose sons and daughters were taken in the millions? You already said it. Our people, right? Go ahead. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. We would look for our children, but there was nothing we can do. When they stole our children out of our arms, when Master Smith or Master Jones came and took our children, they would sell our children to Master Williams, Master Greensmith, and we would never see our children again. When the conquistadors came over here and conquered the Aztecans and the Incas and the Mayans, they took our children and went all the way across the Atlantic Ocean to Spain and Portugal and Italy and uh, different parts of America, different parts of South America. This is what they did to our people, black, Hispanic, and Native American alike. Go ahead. And there shall be no might in thine hand. Because our people don't have no political might, brother. No military might. No economic might. We are subject to our oppressor to this very day. Okay? Unless we can play ball, sing, rap, or dance, we don't we don't we don't get promoted and have good opportunities like these other nations. You know it's the truth, brother. When you see a hey, Mustafa, when you see a cop car pull up next to you, brother, how do you act? <laughs> now I, I've turned on videos where I've seen white people cussing out the police. Cussing them out. You ain't gonna do nothing. Yeah. You son of a B. Yeah. Right? But our people, you know, we got our seats quiet. Everyone shut up. Cause we know that our life is in danger. Yeah. Let's get that. Let's get limitations for our safe team. Go back to Joel 3. Uh, yeah, that's uh 26 and 46. Second leave. Lamentations 4 and 16. Because the Lord get there. Now get finish out where you at. Joel 3. The book of Joel. Chapter 3. I will also gather all nations and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. I will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel. Whom they scattered among all nations and part of my land. And part of his land, which is Israel, right? And they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for an harlot and sold and sold a girl for wine. For wine. They were selling our women for breeding as well. The men and the women, right? For sex parties, so on and so forth. Go ahead. That they may drink, right? Yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyree? And Zidon. Now, this is who they confuse us with, brother. Tyre and Zidon. Now, when you go to Africa, you have over 50 countries in Africa, right? I think it's 52 countries in Africa, all owned by the European nations, coincidentally. You got all these dark people, but the European nations are owning and governing each country individually, right? That's why you got speak, uh, speak, uh, French-speaking Africans. You got uh, different-speaking language Africans, right? All because all these different Europeans have taken those nations in control. So they can they confuse us with the actual biblical Hamites. So the West Africans, brother, is where the Israelites inhabited for 1260 years, prophesied in the scriptures that we would flee out of the land of Israel. Somebody give me Babylon and Timbuktu just real fast so, so we can show the brother. But you're gonna find out, brother, you are the real Jew. You are the real Jew. Verse, chapter 80, or, uh, page 80, uh, 84, right here. Read that part. This is the Babylon, from Babylon to Tim, Timbuktu. Timbuktu, which is in Africa, right? Go ahead. Page 84. In the year 65 BC, the Roman armies under General Pompey captured Jerusalem. They, they went into Israel and sieged Jerusalem, right? In 70 AD, General 
Vespasian and his son Titus, which were the Roman, the Roman military, right? Go ahead. Put an end to the Jewish state. Watch this, brother. With great slaughter. Great slaughter, right? During the period of the military governors of Palestine, many outrages and atrocities were committed against the residue of the people. Of the people. They they slaughtered us. They took us captive. They were doing uh, atrocities to our people. Watch this. Go ahead. During the period from Pompeii to Julius, uh -huh. it has been estimated. It has been estimated, right? That over one million Jews. One million Jews, right? Fled to Africa. Fled to where? Africa. This is 2,000 years ago. One million of our people fled to Africa, right? Fleeing from Roman persecution. Fleeing from the white man. Just like the Bible said would happen. Go ahead. And slavery. Right? The slave markets were full of black Jewish slaves. Did it say that? Did it really just say that? Read that again. The slave markets were full of black Jewish slaves. They know who we really are, brother. They want us to think that we're African, American, Venezuelan, Mexican, Puerto Rican. They want us to think that we're these bywords when God said, you are my people. That's right. I founded you from the foundation of the world. I made you in my image. God wants us to understand that, brother. Go back to Joel 3 where you left off. Uh, the book of Joel, chapter 3. And they have cast, you know, whoever down here, Otairi and Zidon and all the coasts. Huh? Yes, yeah, like and all the coasts of Palestine, will ye render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I re return your recompense upon your own head? Well, the Lord said, if people think that they're going to have an issue with God, he said they got another thing coming. He's going to bring that judgment upon them. Keep reading. Uh, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Oh, Do we, we skip the part about being sold to the Grecians? Verse 6. Read verse 6. Sorry, y'all. I got, I got mixed up. Verse 5. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly, pleasant things. For the Lord said that these people came into Israel. They took our treasures, our wealth, right? The children also of Judah. Of Judah, that's where we come from. Go ahead. And the children of Jerusalem. Right. Have ye sold unto the Grecians. Unto the who? Unto, unto the, the Grecians. Grecians. We were sold by the actual Hamites to the Grecians. This is why they say in history we sold ourselves. Because the people that look just like us, they try to say that we're the same people. That we look alike. Okay. All that most of the African countries look alike, but we're not all the same nation. So God said, the people who look like you, let me let me demonstrate what I mean. Give me Amos 9 and 7. Watch. Watch this, brother. I'm going to show you. Give me Exodus 11 and 7. Nope, drop that. Exodus 11 and 7. And give me Amos 9 and 7. Let me demonstrate because God told us. Watch this, brother. This is the book of Amos. Chapter, you said 9 and 7. Chapter 9 and verse 7. Are ye not as children? Statues and commandments. Curses would overcome us and overtake us. Now, for the sake of time, brother, because it looks like you're about to get going, um, I encourage you. You got a Bible at home? If not, we could give you one. You got one? Okay, all praises. I encourage you to go home and read Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. God is speaking to us in the last days what would happen to us. He said that a plethora of problems we would have to go through as a people to identify who we are today. So, for the sake of time, you are an Israelite, brother, from the tribe of Gad. You are a mighty and chosen people of God. And the Native American, so-called, I say so-called because that's a modern title. God says you guys are going to be raised up in the last days, and he's going to send his son to redeem us. And we're going home, brother, to the kingdom of heaven. So, if I can, I'm going to leave you with this, Acts 3 and 19. This is the book of Acts, chapter 3 and verse 19. Read out. Repent ye, therefore, and be converted. So, Repentance means if we broke God's laws, we have to stop breaking his laws. If we used to be a thief, we got to stop stealing. If we used to be a liar, we got to start telling the truth. If we used to eat abominable foods, we got to start eating healthy and good foods. We got to put on fringes, brother. Why do you think the Native Americans wear regalia? Where'd they get that from? It's in the Bible. 
we got to put on righteous garments. The Lord says that we have to keep the Sabbath day holy. Keep the don't serve any other God beside the Lord our God. You understand, brother? Keep reading. That your sins may be blotted out. So whatever sins you've committed in your life, Robert, if you repent, God says he's going to do away with that record. It's going to be done away with. Like if we ever had to go to court and we were guilty of a charge and the judge drops the gavel and he says not guilty. God says he's going to do that for us if we repent and turn back to him. Go ahead. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. On the day of the Lord. When the new heaven and the new earth is established, we're going to be able to go into the new heaven and the new earth if we repent and keep his commandments. You understand, brother? All right. All praises to the Most High. It's a pleasure meeting you, brother. All right. You're a Gadite. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Gad. That's what the Bible says. All right, brother. All praises to the Most High. All right. Well, one seat at a time, right? Uh, let's close out. Matthew 26, brother. It's I know that was really drug out today. Hey, hey. Is this still recording? Uh, kind. Oh man, that phone, that phone got a lot of life in it. That was a good update, huh? Oh, drop the ball, brother. <laughs> all praises, all praises. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 26 and verse 6. Now, when Yahawashai was in Bethany, in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ointment, and poured it on his head as he sat at meat. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For this ointment might have been sold for much, and given to the poor. When Yahawashai understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she hath wrought a good work upon me. For ye have the poor always with you, but me ye not have always. For in that she hath poured this ointment on my body. She did it for my burial. Verily I say unto you, Wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this that this woman hath done be told for a memorial of her. And with that, Allah would like to give all glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, Quam Yasharala, Quam Yasharala, Quam Yasharala.